Hi, I'm Old Norse Specialist Jackson Crawford. On my channel about Norse language, myth, runes, etc., I present free content supported by my Patreon supporters in the interest of getting better information about these subjects out there. 30 second disclaimer about audio, skip this or fast forward if you're not interested or don't care. I live in windy parts of the country and uh, am a naturally quiet talker. I have been all my life. And my microphone that I had been using stopped working with my phone. I am trying a new one. You can see it right here. It's kind of big and obvious. Uh, I don't know yet whether it is working or not. I have to find out. So in today's video, I am talking about, or continuing, a read-through in Old Norse of the poem Helga Kvitha Hundingspana II, the second poem about Helgi, the son of Hunding. It's a really interesting narrative about a hero who falls in love with a Valkyrie and then has his life, in the typical Volsung fashion, kind of ruined by Odin crossing his path. And uh, starting today with stanza 10. So where we left off last time, Helgi has been talking to the Valkyrie Sigrun. And now she says to him, Vig lyser thu vart fyr Helga hundinger konunger niga at veli. Bar sokn saman er seva hebndud og busti blod og brimis ekkja. Alright, so she says, You shine light on, you explain, you discuss war, conflict, battle, we. Hundinger king, king Hundinger, uh, had to varth kneel, niga, on a plane at Veli before Helgi, Hur Helga. So uh, this is a nice alliterative poetic way of saying the simple thing, Helgi, where she's talking to, killed King Hunding. Battle was joined, a, an, an attack Sokin came together, bore together, carried together Bar Saman. When uh, Y'all, possibly the royal y'all, I think it probably is, heaven dude avenged a kinsman, Seva, and that flowed busti. This would be a hard one to find in the dictionary if you're not used to these uh, semi rare weak verbs that haven't fit in there's anything in y'all that have I mutation in the present but not in the past. This is from busya flow, B Y S J A. So blood flowed busti on the edges, egyar, of the brimir, the sword. Now in 11, Helgi is talking to her. Notice there's no Helgi said, Sigurun said in the manuscript, and there's no quotation marks in Old Norse manuscripts, so we have to kind of piece together who's talking from context. What visir thu at their se snot spin hugu er seva heaven do? Varnir rog wasir hilding sunir, og omunir usum ilium. So, what? What can be used to stand for other question words? Here it's more like how. How did you know, visir thu, that they were at their se wise? Wise headed, <laughs> snout, sveen, okay, so he's calling her wise twice. Uh, who avenged a kinsman, er, happened to Seva? So, how do you know? Uh, and what's kind of left out here is who they were, 
you wise, wise one, who avenged uh, their, their kinsmen. There are many erumargir sharp, which you know, metaphorically can be used the same way as in English, like, you know, the, the, the sharp intelligent or the sharp fierce. Prince's sons, Hilding Sinir, uh, and alike, Omunir, our kinsman, Osum Nivium. So essentially, you know, how do you know who it was? How do you know that I was one of these people avenging a kinsman when so many people are, you know, somewhat like me and would do things like what I and my kinsmen do? That Osum, by the way, is a rare, archaic, or poetic version of the the possessive pronominal adjective vor, our, it's kind of like, you know, impressionistically, like in, like in English, if I said, um, you know, this is us's house, but it's, it doesn't have the informal sound of that. It's just an archaic alternative to, to vor. She says in 12, Barca ek fiari folks od viti der o I was not far, so the whole thing is, uh, well, the I was not is all one, looks like one word. Var was, K is the suffix pronoun ek, I, and then ah is the negative. So I was not, and we have I again, ek. I was not far away, Fiari. Spear leader of an army, folks odviti. Yesterday morning, Gar from a king's death, alter locum. Grams, alder locus, uh, life in. So from the life endings of the king, Gram. Though I count or talk to a wise Slurgian, son of Sigmundar, Bur Sigmundar, who says accounts of battle, the spiel, in the Val Runum. In, uh, in so rune here meaning something more like uh, words or sayings about battle. So the uh, though seems a little bit unnecessary, the though there, but though comes close to being a filler word like um or of in uh, some of these poems and even sagas. 13. She continues, Late ek thick um sin hir o lang skipum, tho er thu bugvir blodga stavna, ok ur svalar unir leku. Nu vil dulliask doglinger hyr mer, en hogna mer helga kenir. So I saw you, or looked for you, late ek thick once um, sin, before here on long ships on long skip when the air you inhabited through big there bloody uh, this is some part of a ship you know the stern or sterns or something and played leku in cool waves or small lot is the oars from damp so it's like damp and cool moist waves now, a prince, who Dodlinger, wants to hide himself, duly ask, from me, for mayor. But, uh, Hogni's daughter, Hogna Mer, recognizes Helgi, Kenir, Helga. So she is uh, Sigrun Hogna Dotu. She's the daughter of, of Hogni. All right, then we get this prose interjection. Remember the prose could be younger or and or by a different author than the poem itself. Granmar het riker konungur er bjo at svarins hau. Han oti margason. Hod broder, an nar gudmunder, 
því því starkan Bóðbróður var í konungastefnu Hann fastnaði sér Sigrúnu Hognadóttur En er hún spyr það þó reið hún með valkurjur um lótt og um lóg að leita Helga Helgi var þó að loga fjólum og hafði barrits við hundingssonu Þar felldi hann þó ólf og eyjólf, hjórvarð og hervarð, og var hann alvíg móður og satt undir arrasteini. Þar hitti sigrún hann og rann á hós honum og kysti hann og sagði honum erendi sitt svo sem segir í volsunga kvíðu inn í fornum. All right. Ranmar was the name of a powerful king who lived as far as Hauk. He had many sons, Hothrother, another Guthmunder, third Starkov. Hothrother was at a king meetup called Augustine. He engaged himself to, promised himself to, Sigrun, daughter of Hogni. So Sigrun, who is currently talking, or when we last left off in the poetry, was, was talking to Helgi, uh, has been engaged, perhaps unwillingly, to this hoth brother, hoth brother uh, Granwar song. But when she learned that and her old spear thought, then she rode with Valkyries through sky and sea to seek out Helgi. That riding loft and log is a, a really stereotypical phrase associated with uh, what Valkyries do. Uh, Helgi was then at Loga Fjol, flame mountains and had fought with the sons of Hudni. There he killed at that time Elf and Eolf, Hjorvarth and Hervarth, and he was all battle tired, all eagle. It's a nice just come down word and sat under Arastain. Um, eagle stone perhaps could be hearthstone. Eagle stone perhaps seems like a better fitting place name here. There Sigrun met him and embraced his neck so that it looks like ran onto the neck of him but that's like, you know, wrapped her arms around his neck and kissed him and told him her errand as it says in the old poem of the Volsungs. So, what is the old poem of the Volsungs? Uh, some people have taken this to be a, a missing poem about Volsungs. Some people have taken this to mean this is in fact the poem that is being narrated right here. Is going back to the poetry, so it's like, as it says in the poem that you know we're relating right here. Or does it mean Helga quit the Hundingspana one, which tells a similar story, at least up to this point? Uh, that's a little bit unclear. Although um, now, as I talk in, in early 2023, I think probably what's going on is just that the editor is saying, okay, we're getting back to the poem, which the editor knows as the old poem of uh, Volsungs and Helgi is a Volsung in this tradition. Uh, you know, I used to think that maybe there was a more like a missing Volsungs poem that he was alluding to, but I don't think that's the case now um, because otherwise, you know, this poem ends with a reference to a missing poem in the prose and there's no... Uh, but the, but the content that's being related is right here in this poem. So why would this be missing, right? I think he's just going back and saying, you know, back, back to the poem we were talking about. The old poem of the All right, stanza 14, we got a narrative stanza. So ti sigrun sikling glavan heim nam hon helga hon ad sökja. Kysti og kvadi konung und hjálmi uh, so again, notice this just recapitulates what the prose has just said. So Sigrun sought the glad prince, so Tiglavan Sikling. She sought Helgi's hand at home. So Hon Nam Helga Hond Hon Nam Sukya Helga Hond. Came. She went home to seek Helgi's hand. She went to his home. She kissed him and greeted the king with a little helmet. Uh, then, liking Huger, a fond mind toward, fond heart toward, arose for the prince Hilmi 
as to the wife, the woman, or the V. Uh, v doesn't specifically mean married woman in Old Norse, like it does in, in English. Just, it's just a word for woman. 15, boy, here we have uh, some scrapped order from an English perspective. Fir, that's called Una av Oldum Hug, Sinis Igmundar, and Hon Set Habi. Or rewriting that in English word order, I would say Hon Letsk Una. She set herself to love. She said she loved. Sig Sigmundar Suni, Sigmund's son, Ab Olum Hu, with her whole heart, mind. In Hon Havi set. Before, probably, you know, fear has been left out here all there. Uh, before than, because the only word we have there is the an, than, in, she had seen. So she loved him before she saw him, perhaps because of his great warlike reputation or something like that. Uh, 16, she says to him, Var ek hod brodi i her fosnu, en jovr annan i vilna. Lo siom kvilkir randari, heavy ek meets old rod brotit. I was fastened, ek var fosnu, to hold the broader and war here. A little bit different from what the pro said. Uh, or in an army. Uh, it just sounds like a more violent context than what the pros described. But I wanted Vildak with the ek I uh, attached to the, the build there. I don't know the king, Hanan Yolver. Though I fear Thosyomk, the same, uh, one of the same uh, poetic verbs that Bothen uses for fear in Grimm's 20, talking about losing his ravens. I fear, Prince, the anger of my kinsman, Revi Franda. I have broken ek heavy brotit, the mind counsel, the earnest counsel, presumably, moon roll of my father, me, father. 17, another one that's pretty mixed up in word from an English perspective. Nama hogna mer og hug mela habak fats kon helga hulli skuldu. Hogna mer, so Hogni's daughter, Sigurin. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Nama mela hug. Okay, she did not speak. Nama mela. So nam, so nema. A strong verb in its forms like nam, the, the passing of the third person here, are fairly frequently used as filler syllables. So she did not speak, you know, like take to speak, but it just means speak. And we have another filler word in of. So she did not speak her mind, but speak her heart. Or did she? Right? Because it kind of sounds like she did. She, she told him, hey, I'd, I'd rather have someone else. And it's heavily implied that she's talking about you know, the person she's talking to. So maybe the ah, the negative on nama, is a mistake in the manuscript. I'm certainly open to that possibility. That kind of thing happens. Uh, the next one I would rearrange. Hon Kvask, she said, uh, she said that Helgi Hava Skildu Hili, that Helgi should have uh, love, uh, and then presumably the tsk on the end of kvatsk is like from her, like, so she said, hon kvad, take the kvad out of the kvatsk. Helgi, Helga, accusative there because he's going to be the subject of an infinitive, which takes an accusative subject of using it like that. Helgi, or skildu, which is an infinitive, to the next infinitive, skildu have, so she said Helgi should have uh, love, hilly, and then the ser comes out of the sk on the end of kvats from herself. So again, yeah, the ah on nama in the first line of stanza 17 is probably a mistake because she is telling her, him right there, you should have my love. I want you to have my love, not not hold brother. All right, he says to her, I guess 17, neither one of them is talking that it's that it, that's that's narrative. So 16, she was talking. 17 is narrative. 18 is back to him talking. Hirth egi thu hogna revi ne ilan hug at tartinar 
þú skalt mér ung at mér lifa. Ett að þú en góða er ekk eigi sjónk. So, do not care about here eigi the wrath of hogni, reyði hogna, nor the bad heart of your family, illan hug ættar þinnar. You, young woman, mær ung, shall live at me with me, skal live at me. You, and you, really got a fuck to, who, the good one, and go then, have a family, uh, ut, at, which I fear er ek sjonk not. Now, the uh, egi, or not, is uh, left out of the uh, Codex Regis manuscript, but a pretty obvious interpolation to put in here. It's just you know, somewhere a, 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 a heavy syllable that means not. It's been left out here. Iggy is a good candidate. I think it's probably in some paper manuscripts too. I didn't uh, note that, but every editor supplies that. And that also helps suggest that again, there's, there's a mistake in 17, just like there's a mistake in the last line of 18. All right, now we get some prose again. Helgi samnaði þó miklum skipa her og hvor til frekka steins og fengu í hafi ofviðri mannhætt. Þó komu leiftur yfir þó og stóðu geislar í skipi. Þeir svo í loftinu að valgjörjur nýju ryðu og kendu þeir sigrún og legði stormin. Og komu þeir heilir til lands. Grannmar sunnir sottu og bjargi nokkuru er skipin sigldu að landi. Guðmundur hljóp á hest og reið og njósum og bergið við hopnina. Og hlóðu volsungar segnu. Þó hvað Guðmundur svo sem fjör er í tatt í Helgakvíðu. So Helgi assembled then a big ship army and navy and went to Frekistain and uh, got uh, man-dangerous bad weather, Manhat Old Vithri in the ocean, Nihavi. So he's going to where uh, Sons of Grandmar, like old brother, are because he's going to fight him because he wants Sigur. Then lightnings came over them, Thor Leif der Pomer Thor, and uh, uh, rays, Geislar stood into the ship. So uh, lightning, like the sun, has rays. So lightning is coming right into the ships. Then they saw in the air that nine Valkyries rode, and they recognized Sigrun. Then the storm laid off. This, uh, when used of weather, uh, uh, this this verb to lower. Uh, Laga takes uh, an accusative of what in English we would treat as a subject, the storm here. So it's almost like that someone laid, you know, lowered the storm. And they came whole to land, help it land, save the land. Grandmar's sons, including Randall's brother, the guy who wants to take Sigrun, sat on a certain rock or cliff when the ships sailed the land. Ruthwunder, one of them, leapt onto a horse and rode to uh, he rathe old news, and it looks like rode on spying. So it's like he rode off to scout uh, on the uh, on, on the cliff by the harbor of Haltmina. Then the Volsungs uh, loaded. I think it means lowered the sails. And then Guthmunder said, as before is written in Helgi's poem, Helga Kvidu. And this is nearly identical, not quite, but nearly identical to Helga Kvidu, the Hundingsbana 1, stanza 32. So presumably that's what the editor is referring to here. Where er fylgir, so er flota styrir, og fekna líð örir at landi. Who is the leader who uh, drives, steers the, the fleet, the, the floating thing, the floaty, and leads this doomed army to land. Furir fekna líð at landi. Uh, Helga Kvíða Hendrix Vána 1, Sins of 32 is almost identical. Hver er landreki so er liði styrir og hann fikna liði fyrir að landi. Who is the land leader who steers the assembled troops, Livy, and he leads this uh, doomed troop to land. 
Sinfjotli Sigmundarsson Svaradi och Erthat en Ritat. So Sinfjotli, the son of Sigmundur, answered, and that is uh, still or yet written. Now, many editors and my 2015 translation say, well, there is a uh, an, an exchange of insults between Guzmander Grunmerson and Sinfjotli in stanzas 24 to 29, and this seems to be where that actually fits. And so they, and I in that translation, answered that block of stanzas 24 to 29 as 19 to 24 here. That can result in some confusing inconsistencies between how stanzas are numbered in different editions and translations of Helga Fila Hundigsmann 2. I'm going to not uh, do that here. I'm going to read this through in the order the stanzas come and the Codex Regis. So we'll start next time with the next block of prose and then the true stanza 19. So, and that's and that's Sigrun talking. So, uh, we'll get back to that when we get back to that. And for now, from beautiful Colorado, thank you Patreon for your support and your patience with my microphone troubles and experimentations. And everyone out there from beautiful, windy Colorado with uh, Pikes Peak back there, I am wishing you all the best. <laughs>